How you guys doing? So here is the Svalbard. This is a crazy keyboard that I've been using for a while. And it works great, except I want it in metal. So I want the I want the base and I want all the I want to make it as much of it in aluminum as I can. Uh, it is designed to be 3D printed and it works great for that. But it's really difficult to translate the design into something like a machine on a three axis CNC. So uh, I'm trying to start with the base and I've, I've gone like over the past months, I've, I tried like ideas to see if I could do it. And I made like a flat version, but I really like the angle on this, even though when I'm using the swallow board, uh, I have it on attached to these, I think they're called small rig arms. They're like adjustable arms and I have mounts CNC machine on my desk and they kind of sit under my, under my desk. Uh, the problem is small rig arms, they connect onto the bottom on that quarter 20 uh, airy mount there. So airy mount is quarter 20 threads with those two smaller holes and holes and those holes like lock, lock the attachment arm so it, like it can't twist on you. Uh, so what I'm doing on the, this blue one that I just printed out is I'm putting it over there in the corner there so that way I can keep the bottom of the board flat so there's nothing for me to bang my knees into and uh so going through the uh going through the changes this is mostly the same it's the layout is slightly different just because i'm adjusting it from my hand and uh you can see here like for instance on the thumb i have to move it over to the edge mostly and same with the pinky and but everything else you know mostly just works fine so this one's slightly wider, and then I have uh, the airy mount there on the on the corner there. On the bottom there, so because I can't machine the bottom plate and I can't machine the bottom of the of the uh, the floor of this, uh, I can, but I got to use a ball end mill, and that's not great because I can't get all the sharp corners. So like I wouldn't be able to get all these sharp corners if I'm machining it on an angle. It's just not not possible. Uh, so what I'm going to do is the CNC machine version, I'm going to have it open. So this is going to be equivalent to this. This is just three printing it, just the check. Uh, and I, and I will like trans transfer all the electronics and the hardware into, uh, pr the prototype and just do a dry fit, make sure everything works. But with this one, it's, uh, it's just one component. It's no longer two parts. And it's basically the same shape and everything, except I can machine it on uh, mostly just one setup. So just on this one setup, and I can machine uh, all of the all of the intricate details. Um, and then I do have to do a second setup to get. You can see here, so it's gonna most of it's gonna be machined like this. But then I I do need to have a setup where it is that top face, I need to have that flat. And I need that because I need to put a series of holes uh, on here. So like the, these bigger holes, these are for holding like the rubber silicone inserts for the feet. And, and then these ones will be threaded holes, uh, M3. And they're gonna hold a acrylic piece that I'll machine out that, that fits in here. So when you look at the metal bottom, it'll be exposed and you can see on the inside of like all the internals uh, but yeah, I need those, I need those, uh, holes and threads all machine all at that angle. And then also the acrylic piece, like it's going to be machined flat. It's not going to be machined on an angle. So there, there will be like a one millimeter gap. I've, I've left it between the acrylic plate that will go in and the aluminum, but because the acrylic is clear, you won't notice. It won't look, it won't, it won't look weird at all. And, and that way, like, there's there's a way for, like, dust to get blasted out, which is kind of useful as well. And, uh, yeah, that's... Let me just wake up my... Uh, yeah, so I got the... Yeah, I got the design in SolidWorks. And uh, after printing this one out, I had the sidewalls at uh, 1.2 millimeters thick. But I'm going to change that and make it thicker, maybe, like, 1.8 or so. Uh, from what I gather, talking to like 
Gemini, ChatGPT, Claude. The aluminum is about twice as strong and stiff structurally than this uh, PETG. So that's why I, I kind of reduce it from the two millimeters to 1.2. But because of the, the torque requirements that are gonna be applied to this when it's mounted there, uh, I think these sidewalls, especially this one that's curved, I think that could possibly buckle. So I will make those thicker. And then that's basically the only change I really need to make. Small minor features with uh, having which which surfaces are flat and, and that. But overall, yeah, that's, that's going to be the plan. So once I do the dry fit uh, and everything's good, I will do the machining, possibly make a video. So yeah, that's where I'm with that. I uh, will talk to you guys later.